I moved to France because in Mexico I met uh, I met this French girl. She was a professional salsa dancer. It's uh, funny because I don't like salsa. Well, only only on the tacos. Uh, <laughs> that's the only salsa I like. <laughs> no dancing and stuff. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, hello guys, here we are, episode number three. We are here today with uh, Leonardo Black, he's an artist. Good morning and thanks Good for morning. coming. Thanks for the invitation. It's no problem, it's, it's our pleasure it's to Sunday have you. It's Sunday morning, so... It's Sunday morning, yeah. It's a special morning. Yeah, it's a tough morning, but... Uh, Usually I haven't woken up yet, but... Uh, <laughs> Usually I haven't slept yet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, yeah, how do we start usually is like um, asking to you like who are you today who I am today oh wait did you introduce him yeah okay sorry he's not I following guys I was <laughs> too <laughs> excited <laughs> yeah he's still sleeping <laughs> who are you today how would you define Leonardo um, well I'm, I'm the guest in the podcast today <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, today same as uh, yesterday just an artist very eclectic I can do many different type of performance in art. So, yeah, today and tomorrow, I guess I will be the same. <laughs> <laughs> we know you like uh, more for a uh, tattoo artist, like, um, and also you told me that you start many you start many years ago in Mexico, where you come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the north actually. I started my apprenticeship when I was about sixteen years, okay. and now. I would prefer to not say my age. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was kidding. I'm 30, 38. Okay. okay. So since I was 16 till now, that's 22 years. <laughs> that's mainly yeah, a lot. It's a lot of time, huh? Mm. Yeah. If you think about it, like just time, bam, fly, and you think like, yeah, it's there not long ago. It's like, what the fuck? So many years ago. Yeah, so many tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And we, which part of Mexico is the north? But where exactly? Yeah, I was born in Saltillo. Okay. Uh -huh, but I consider myself because I grew up in a north city that is close by. Okay. There as well, my carrera went up, so I consider myself that I. Okay. Part like that part is as well that from part of myself as uh -huh. well, Monterrey. Ah, Monterrey. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Which is uh, no, no, it's not the capital, but uh, it's Mexico City. Uh huh. No, Monterrey is the. Uh, but it's the one of the biggest cities, Yeah, right no? now I don't know if it's the second or the third biggest city mm -hmm. in Mexico. And the one that I come from is like 30 minutes, 45 minutes away. Okay. Because I've been to Mexico Mexico once, uh, but in the south, uh, you know, most, mm -hmm. most touristic one. Because I've seen all the... Um, uh, the Castillo, no? the Maya castles. Ah, like the pyramids. The pyramids, pyramids, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we were wondering like what to go one day in the north like right, Mexico City but then we realized like Mexico is fucking long like uh, it's, uh, it's huge. what is like uh, oh a thousand kilo no more honestly I'm being you know. always super bad in geography <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I don't know I, I I know the distance are huge between yeah. one place to another one yeah um but yeah if you want to go to the north there are some beautiful places you have a lot of desert as well mm -hmm. so uh, you um, you have visited like uh, all Mex all Mexico like you have been not all around no? okay mm. not all around like uh, very high up like for example uh, um, Cal California Baja California and etc mm -hmm. okay mm, no. okay but T J uh, as well Tijuana no, okay. too too far I go invited many times for tattoo conventions but okay uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I prefer to jump there. <laughs> <laughs> From one country to continent to another one. Okay. okay. And how is life in Mexico? Like, uh, how was like uh, growing up there? Well, it's a pen of view, <laughs> okay. and where you hanging out. Uh, to me, has been. But uh, I have been lucky. I have good friends mm. there. Uh, very good stories, but as well, the streets are not the safe place. Okay. Mm. Uh, so yeah, streets are violent. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Well, but how many people were living in your hometown? 
uh, well, my my series is small, but mm-hmm. like it's more like all full Luxembourg. Ah, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's it's a uh, it's a small city, but you have everything there, all the modernities and ah, okay, okay, everything, everything. Okay, and uh, and when did the passion for tattoo start? Like uh, when did I start? Uh, when I was fourteen. When I was 14 years, um, I went to to get a piercing done, mm-hmm. and uh, the tattoo shop. It wasn't that that fancy or that that nice, but the the vibe, the ambient that it has, it was a little mystic, a little bit uh, um, like a dark, but not in a negative way. Mm-hmm. So when I was there, I was like, "Wow, I don't know what you guys doing here, but I want to do the same." And then uh, I got my piercing done, and I was like, "Wow!" And then after that, I start to <laughs> to do piercings to my friends. A oh. couple of years after, I start to work in that shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, they they called me like, "Yeah, we saw you you work in like in customers," and they told us you you working at home. Yeah, yeah. And it seems that you have a quite be- quite good vision about how mm-hmm. the things should be done. So how are you come over and we teach you how to do things. It's like, uh, yeah, totally. And how was your uh, your parents ab- about like uh, what you were doing? <laughs> well, before they wasn't very supportive mm. until uh, I got uh, a phone call from another big city that uh, they want me to go work with them. Mm-hmm. That that shop is very very busy. Normally, s- only rock stars and famous people go there. Okay. Uh, we used to have quite often uh, like people from the radio, from TV coming over, or even us being like in a. There was a pilot from um, a reality show, sponsored by I don't remember it was Corona or Modelo, or one of the brands from beers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, how was like um, going from uh, let's say a relative, a relative like small city? To Monterrey, like uh, how how you ended up uh, in Monterrey? Um, well, how I end up there? When I got the call, first uh, I went to bring um, one of these uh, these cats. No, what's what's the name of this? Floppy disk. Floppy disk. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really old school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aha, uh-huh. with pictures of of my work. Mm. Uh, that was around like in a December or something like this. And they told me, yeah, we're gonna call you in January or something like this to to tell you what's up. And so you sent the floppy disk over. I first? went over. I went ah, over. Ah, you went over yeah, to yeah. hand yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah. Really, uh, really, really old school, school. you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. door by door with the floppy disk. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. Well, yeah. And then uh, I got the phone call. I went there to work for uh, like uh, three weeks, just to check what's up. And they told me like, yeah, but we'll be glad you stay with us. Nice. Seems that you are a good element for us, and, mm-hmm. and then yeah, I start there until I don't, I even don't remember the year when I left, but it was like between four and five years I was working in that shop, okay. maybe even six. But how does it work? Uh, like a uh, fully employed, or you are a sort of freelancer? So oh, bro, we're talking about Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I even didn't have a contract. Oh, okay, Not okay. even security social man. Uh, like, okay. Now in these times. Things are changing, yeah. Because the government wants to take a big part that as well about that. They they see that artists like well, the two artists they do good money. Yeah. So first thing, all right, you want to be a tattoo artist, you gotta pay this much, mm-hmm. and then after that, okay, you have your paper, you go, but then you gotta pay taxes after. Yeah. As, as long as the government s- n- sees that you're making money, they will come for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they come in behind your ass. Yeah. Totally. Everyone want, want a piece of a cake. Yeah, you know? exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But wait, you, so you started piercing and then tattooing, or uh? I, I start piercing, and when this this shop in my in my city yeah. called me, yeah, there I start to do the apprenticeship of tattooing. Okay, uh-huh, okay. because they they saw I could draw. Okay, well. well, I could draw well. Yeah. I come from a <laughs> family of artists, so oh. yeah, yeah. And what, what were you? Um, what were uh, were your parents doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, my father is an. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah, no <don't> worry. <laughs> my father is an architect, mm-hmm. but uh, didn't work anymore as an architect. He's an antiquary, or like, and he's doing the art dealing business. Yeah. 
Uh, my mom, she she's an architect. She was an architect too, but she wasn't working as an architect as well. She was uh, an historian, and she was giving classes as well in the University of uh, Art. Oh. Yeah, and then, well, my brother as well, he's in the art dealing business. My sister, she's a fashion designer. Okay. And I'm the crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> But they they are all in Mexico still or yeah 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 so the only you you are the only one who move abroad yeah okay okay and how did they see that uh, you want to move abroad first when when I moved from my city to this other city uh, is when they saw like okay he's doing something with this and then yeah they start to be more support huh. supportive with me. Yeah. They, they wanted nice. you to go like uh, to university, <laughs> yeah. to follow their path and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because um, when uh, when I finish uh, high school, normally, well, you have the the party, the gradu graduation, etc. But I didn't even want to pick up my certificate because I have appointments that day. So yeah, I was yeah. like, "Fucking!" <laughs> like, honestly, I don't. You don't I, I know what I'm gonna do in life. Yeah, has nothing to do with school. Okay. So, yeah, I just <laughs> went uh -huh. to the shop and I did my tattoos and get my money. Right? All right, see you guys. Yeah. yeah. And then the, by the night, my friends like, oh, yeah, no. The, the teacher was like quite pissed. <laughs> said, well, sorry. I will pass to the party later and say hi. <laughs> For that one, I won't miss it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And in that time, you couldn't take videos. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, but then you did you have to take uh, any sort of certificate or... You're just cool with your drawing. You say you're good, <laughs> and they don't care. Yeah, no, I did a certificate way after. Okay. More about the uh, IGN. Okay. IGN. Uh, you have to be compliant with everything. How to clean properly a surface? How okay. to disinfect my tools? Then how to sterilize them? Okay. How to do all my preparation? Uh, that's quite a lot, a uh, lot to learn. Okay. I think it's also a, a really important part of being a tattooer, right? Yeah, but I imagine you go to a dentist and he doesn't know even how to clean his yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will not I will not go there. I'm very happy. <laughs> and yeah. how many tattoos you have? Um I would say that I have one. Just a big <laughs> one. It got together already, pa. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. you're thinking to get uh like yeah. get it even bigger? Yeah, not long ago I was thinking on that, like, oh yeah, maybe some more black here on the neck or okay yeah something on the face also on the face yeah but it's very discreet and something that it won't look aggressive okay uh, i've been always uh, very careful with that on my tattoos and as well you can see that on my style i always like to do things that are more like ornamental yeah or things that looks beautiful on people i don't want to do like a skull on the cheek of a guy no. you know? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it's like maybe not my style. I know someone who can do it for you pretty well, but I prefer to do okay, more and ornamental and decorative things on, on the body of people. Okay. Uh, okay. And like here, I think, um, talk about Europe, but uh, even Italy, uh, people with many tattoos, mm. they're really judged like sometimes as criminals or something like that. Oh, you, see yeah. a if you see different culture between Europe and Mexico? when they see a uh, guy with uh, full of tattoos? Well, I, I have a funny experience just this last uh, Friday. I went to I went to pick up my car and mostly every time I was there, when it was like a just normal bill, I pay directly. But when it's a big bill, I pay uh, by Birmo. Okay. So this, this time it was another dude and he was like, oh no, you cannot. You cannot do it by beer mom because he could see my tattoos on my hair and I look funky, you know. So, yeah, he was like, no, no. But the other guy, he, knew he was always, yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah, no problem. Easy. So I see that. Or sometimes, uh, like, new in, in a restaurant that perhaps the waiter doesn't know me or stuff. And he looked at me in a funky way as well, like, yeah. But then as soon as the owner comes to say hi, his attitude change. <laughs> yeah, I, ah. Uh, is yeah. it tattoo artist is Leonardo Black? Ah, okay. So, so yes. Still but in 2021, we yeah, yeah, yeah. we see this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, like uh, I I lived for six months in Japan in Tokyo, and there it's crazy because if you have a tattoo, it's like a, you know um, 
I mean, most likely, I mean, I don't want to say you belong to the, Yaku- up, yeah, uh, to the Yakuza, but uh, almost, right? And uh, But now the, it's a bit changing because, you know, there are way more Western people going and living there right. abroad, I mean, to, to, to Japan. And therefore, they start, like, looking at it differently, right? Because, okay, if you're Japanese, if you have a tattoo, okay, maybe. But look, uh, well, I totally agree with that. But uh, when I was there as well, uh, I was walking around in Shibuya. And then I saw this girl, she was like bald head, and then boom, a tarantula tattoo <laughs> here. And I was like, wow, that looks nice. And you could see like she's she's into fashion, working in fashion mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Because there is just like some very fancy shops. And the way how she was dressed, like yeah. it's not like she's a jacuzzi. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see that people is a little bit more open as well. Mm-hmm. I have some friends from there as well, and they have tattoos exposed okay. and stuff. Uh, and when have you, when have you been there? Um, three years ago, I went ah, okay. for a champ world championship with okay. a friend of mine. Okay. Yeah. But you were competing, or your no, friend? No, my friend, my friend. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how did it go? But it was a typhoon. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So okay. on the the championship, it was outdoor, so no championship. <laughs> so we just hang out in oh, Shibuya okay. and this and that. But why would they set like a? But I think it's uh, your friend. Uh, um, it's was it a tattoo championship? No, no, no. Oh, it's no, an yeah. athlete. Athlete. Uh, I think BMX. Uh, athlete. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Ah, okay. I thought like yeah. a championship for tattooing or oh, something no. like that. That normally when you but have those things, it's like in tattoo conventions. Okay. Yeah, but there is no world championship. Uh, the, uh, I was about to ask: Does uh, anything exist? Nah, no, no. But no, it would be like cool if actually. You, if you will say like, is there any art championship? Yeah. No. Okay. Fair enough. But I think you uh, like. Um, I know there are like many conventions all around the world in each mm. like nation. But uh, I, in my opinion, would be like impossible to determine like uh, a champion because it's really judgmental. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's like uh, for me, it can be beautiful. For him, it can be very ugly. But subjective. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. And what what the the piece of art in this this. Uh, particular case that is a tattoo for you how you how, like the perception that you have about that is different than the one that i have so mm. you see that and you project yourself in different way that's the way else i will project with the same piece so okay mm-hmm. and when someone comes to you like uh, i want this tattoo mm-hmm. uh, you usually like uh, also give ad- give advice uh, if you don't like the piece that they want or like you just say okay no problem come here mm-hmm. Well, uh, in general, mostly all my customers come because they already know what type of tattoos I do, and they okay. know that it's quite uh, ornamental and elegant, so they always go a little bit in that direction. Okay. Um, sometimes they they bring them on pictures. Mm. I say, yeah, no problem. I can just do a little touch-up here, a little touch-up there, and then you're going to be all right. Okay. <coughs> Okay. And uh, so have you ever found, I mean, have you ever had experience with someone really like, um, I don't know, like pushy that uh, you had to review your work several times? Or uh, mm-hmm. is it always like straightforward? Like you tell him like, uh, look, I would fix this, this and that. And then that's it. Or uh, I always try I mean, I would to say demanding. Let's, let's put it like this. Uh-huh. Demanding. Um like a sommelier, you know, they, 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 they taste the wine, they say, no, it smells bad, so mm-hmm. they take it back, <laughs> and then uh, again and again and again. You, you can't, like, uh, if that we... If that we <laughs> like, yeah, I want keep, it smaller. Keep, <laughs> uh, too late. <laughs> no, but that, that's, a, that's a funny part. No, no in, the, in the review part, I would yeah. say, before... Before, yeah, before, before. to do the tattoo, <laughs> you, you put a stencil, it's like a sticker, okay. so you already see how it's going to look, Yeah. and then based on that, you, like, you tattoo on the top. Mm-hmm. So you cannot go wrong like, oh, I want it smaller, but okay. I already show you uh-huh. that it was this size. So that that doesn't yeah. happen. Um, with some customers, it happened. Nothing like that. Mostly like uh, I have a particular case like two weeks ago. A mm. girl, she was like, I think she was too excited and she wants to be funny. But in that, in the way that she tries to be funny, she was rude to me. <laughs> Oh really? So, yeah, because she wants to get a tattoo on a finger, uh-huh. and the way that she tries to be funny is showing me the middle finger, even if it wasn't the same finger that she's gonna get a tattoo. 
Okay. And she do it like super close to my face, and I told her like, "Look, I'm sorry, but you don't do that to me. Okay. This, this like, you don't know me. Yeah. I'm giving you service, and I have been very respectful to yeah. you, so I'm expecting the same. And then the girl, yeah, yeah I'm sorry, I don't know well, like, yeah, all right. I understand you, sorry, but don't do that. Because you don't do that to the barman or to the waiter yeah. or to no one else that you don't know. So why you have to do it to me? Yeah, fair enough. Mm. So those things happen. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. But with tattoos, like super long, long ago, for example, funny funny fact. Uh-huh. Um, I did it, uh, a kanji, a Chinese, mm-hmm. Chinese letter. And yeah, I did the thing. I put it on. How do you like it? The guy, oh, yes, looks amazing. The size is perfect. Yes. All right. Do it. Pam, pam, pam. Look on the mirror. Just, I took a picture. Everything great. Perfect. And then after like, I don't know, perhaps like two years or three, I was looking at my pictures. And then I was looking at the Chinese kanji. And I was thinking about the technique of the brush. And then I just realized that it was mirrored. Is that oh, it's in the other way around, <laughs> but it's still like kind of complicated to find that in a Chinese letter. Yeah. Uh, so and the guy never never, never realized it. No, no. But if you look in this, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> <man>? <laughs> Let me know. I can I, I can touch it off or something. <laughs> Yeah, because actually even a friend of mine um, is from my hometown, he came to visit me in Japan, and he had uh, a kanji here. It was actually mm. saying manga, right? But uh, Really sober. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, you know, like in, uh, I think uh, not only in Japanese, but even Chinese, or I think only in Japanese, uh, every now and then, like every, I don't know, 20 or 30 years, they somehow change the kanji, right? Mm-hmm. So An update. Yeah, I don't know why. It's like, uh, I don't know, you don't call it water anymore, but... Uh, I don't know, green, whatever. <laughs> so it, it's 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 really weird. And um and basically this friend of mine, Japanese, said, Oh, what's written on your on your neck? I was like, Well, don't you see? It's like a written manga. I was like, No, that's the old one. And he started like uh, <laughs> it was dead inside, but said, Okay, no, but uh, I mean you can see it's uh, old fashioned, right? Ah, uh, uh, old school. Old school, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um yeah, I didn't know that, but um Careful with the kanjis, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but so you you uh, you said you mostly do ornamental stuff or also other type of. Uh, I can do many different type of tattoos. Okay. S- same as an artist, you know, I I can perform different techniques. Mm-hmm. So from that, I just do the translation to the tattoo. Mm-hmm. Sometimes okay. I just draw directly on the skin. Sometimes yeah. I draw on the iPad. Sometimes I draw on the computer. Yeah. And then I put it on the skin and then I draw on the top. It's yeah, very complex sometimes. Or can yeah. be very simple when it's just a simple word. Uh, a kanji. <laughs> 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 do it, bam. And uh how do you like like do you keep studying? Do you keep practice practicing or how do you Yeah, kind of way. Uh actually perhaps like two two years ago, um I started practicing calligraphy. A very good okay. friend of mine, Kips, un saludo. <laughs> uh, he uh, he introduced me to calligraphy. He's uh-huh. a master yeah. on it, and actually, I'm very very happy that he introduced me with that world because that make me open my my horizons now. In in uh, well, I, it's like I have more techniques mm-hmm. even because I could do handwriting like Cholo Chicano scripts. Yeah, that's like um, cursive. You call it? Yeah, cursive. Yeah, no, cursive. cursive. Uh. Yeah, but calligraphy is something totally different. But and and what is it then? Because I'm totally uh-huh. noob. For <laughs> example, it's based in all the Arabic uh, script. Okay. And for example, Sanskrit. Yeah. Is calligraphy as well. Okay. You use a different pen for that. Okay. It's something that is flat. It calls a pilot pen. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And there is a demand for this. Uh, for this style? Um, well, it's quite new. This this type is this very specific one. But many people is appreciating pretty well. Actually, not long ago, I did a paint with that. Got sold like super fast. I did some baseball bats as well. Buy as well. I yeah, I've seen them Madrid. on your, uh, your profile. Uh, uh, pretty, well, pretty nice. Thank you. Thank you. Very mm. nice. I sold some here, some in Madrid. 
The pain went to California. So ah. people all around the world like that a lot. Okay. And it's, it's funny that mostly it's, it's uh, like uh, not, n not tattoo artists. It's like normal people who yeah. appreciate the art and say, wow, that's nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And sometimes, of course, I do it on the street. You know, when I can see that there is something that's going to be like demolished, like they're going to put it down. Yeah. I profit about and I do something beautiful on it. Like, for example, um, yeah, graffiti is like the word is very extensive, but there is some people that is training just to 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 see how they can it work. That sometimes can be, at least on my very personal point of view, sometimes can be annoying on the eye mm. because it's not that beautiful. If you just try, like, just because you want to practice your lines, Perhaps do it at your place on the garage or yeah. somewhere, but not on the street. Yeah. It, but if you can do something on the street that is beautiful, that's another thing. Yeah. So wherever I see a spot that I can pimp it up a little bit before they're gonna put it down, put it down. yeah, I will do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 have you seen the one that they did in uh, Napoli about Maradona in the whole facade of a building? No. Oh, no. I'll show you later. It's All like right. uh, I'm amazing. I'm very bad as well with those things. I don't, I don't watch TV. Okay. I don't read news. I don't check radio. Mm. Nothing of those things. Maybe you're famous uh, in some country. Uh, and you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Maybe there, there is maybe your face on some wall and everything. Ah <laughs> yeah. uh, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe in Mexico. Who knows that? And like in your um, in your whole career. This is more now than 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, there, were, there was like an evolution of tattoos. Like there, there were some style that was like fashion and then it passed. Like, uh, yeah. How yeah. is it evolving? It's, it's funny you mentioned it that because when I arrived here in Luxembourg, um, I was, uh, before to live here, I used to live in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. So, yes, from Mexico. From Mexico, I moved to France. How? Why? Sorry. No, uh, how? I moved to France because in Mexico, I met uh, <laughs> I met this French girl. She was a professional salsa dancer. That's uh, funny because I don't like salsa. Well, only, <laughs> only on the tacos. Uh. That's, the <laughs> <laughs> That's the only salsa I like. <laughs> no dancing and stuff. Uh, well, yeah, we met there. You know, I was young. She was young. We fall in love, etc. And yeah, she made me move my ass to. Uh, it's it's <laughs> to always France. about the. Yeah. yeah, and even my my idea was never to go to France. It was to go to Italy. Okay. Yeah. So well, I went to France. Uh, I spent there some time. Life wasn't the same as in Mexico, so I decided to move to Barcelona. Okay. I have some friends over there, so I decided, like, yeah, all right, let's hang out there. And then uh, yeah, second day I start to work directly in a tattoo shop, mm -hmm. and there was a guy who was doing hand poke tattoos. Like tattoos by hand. Okay. No machine. It's like the needle is is on a stick. Yeah. And you you do the lines like little by little, like point by point. Okay. Wow. It's like some um how do you call uh it's from Thailand or some style not Yeah, like holy, like holy 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 tattoos that yeah. Thai people does with a long stick. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. seen it like some uh, kind of similarity just with this one you using uh proper tattoo needles mm. because the like the originals mm -hmm. there in Thailand, it used to be with like oh, bones or oh, bamboos, super sharp. Okay, uh -huh. because I've seen, I think many years ago, uh, that Rihanna had like a uh, tattoo Some, just something yeah. on the hand, on yeah, the hands, like was yeah. I think it's like red, it's not like black, mm -hmm. I don't know, but it doesn't lo last long, right? No, 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 it's, uh, I think it's uh, it's proper tattoo, like uh, okay, I think it's so, uh, it's also like I think really painful. To have like a tattoo. Oh, like it's a stick, you know, it's a bamboo. It's not even sharp, you know, they're ah, 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 oh, in <laughs> the hand. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw that mm -hmm. and that was very different. So I start to learn a little bit about the technique with him. And then I get I got introduced with the dot work mm -hmm. that was very new, but already in places like Paris or other big places in Europe, it was booming. Mm -hmm. So, like in the tattoo that you have <coughs> here, right? Yeah, on my hands. It's dot work. Exactly. Okay. So, when I come here, I was using that technique as well, and my drawings were based on 
on this technique. Yes. And I was telling people, look, we can do like this, like that. And they were, oh, no, the dots, it looks very ugly. I said, all right, no problem. We do how you want. But what's happened like four years after, everybody's just going crazy for that specific thing okay. that this person it was saying, like, that style is, is ugly. The thing is, like, the industry on tattoo has been growing so much in the last years. But, of course, a lot of demanding yeah. industry grows up. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So about ink, about needles, about machines, about anything. Even the definition of the tattoos is super different than 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's an evolution. But mm. also I think technology helped you like a lot. Uh, I've seen some oh, like, yeah. tattoo artists on Instagram. They draw like on the iPad and looks like super easy because mm -hmm. you do a line and then it goes all other ways. It's like uh, helped you a lot, I think. Already, already... Imagine you do a line and it's not 100% straight. You just tap with two fingers and it's gone. Mm. You need to go for the gummy and erase it and the paper. And she, yeah, no, yeah. now it's like on the iPad, pam, pam. It's done. You print it out, do your stencil and start to work. And yeah, yeah. in that way, yes, it's as well. Technology helps a lot. Or even if you want to show your customer how the tattoo going to look plus minus, you can do like a photo montage. Okay. So take a picture with the iPad. Ah, in your hand. Stack, and, then. and then you just put the drawing on the top. Yeah. Exposition, like the opacity, sorry. You put it yeah. like a little lower. So it's a little transparent. Yeah. So your customer can see like, oh yeah, I'm going to look like look a badass. Like? So. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. So. And um, how was it like moving from Mexico to France? Were you like, uh, mom, I'm, I'm going to Europe? Or uh, how was it? Yeah, but it was well, alright. I'm already in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you like I don't know some cheese and wine from Paris. <laughs> no, um, they were right with that because they already knew that I'm I'm doing something with this. Yeah, and I told them like, look, I won't come back. I mean, um, until I sort my situation because mm -hmm. I just came with the um, with the um, visa from like tourist visa. Yeah. And then after that, I have to sort out all my, yeah, yeah. All my situation. Yeah, yeah. Can how I'm going to get a job, how I'm going to work and this. Always thinking like, well, all right, the tattoo world is always very different than any other industry. Mm -hmm. So as I already mentioned it before, back there, like in Mexico, I didn't even have contract or security social. And when I went there, it's same. Yeah, yeah. Now things are changing. Changing, yeah. You have regulations, you have contracts. Uh, even some shops they want to do like uh, the system like cashless, yeah. So it's even more more clean. Mm -hmm. I I I found that very yeah, yeah. very smart. Yeah, yeah. And uh, wait, uh, when was that you moved to France in oh, 2000? I'm super bad with those things, man. Uh, I'm I've been here in Luxembourg since 2009. A year a year before. I was in Barcelona, mm -hmm. and let's say mm -hmm. like a year before <laughs> Barcelona, okay. something like this. But um, you moved to France and you there straight like went to a tattoo shop and working there? No, I couldn't work there. Uh, you couldn't? Yeah, no, because uh, there was just a tat one tattoo shop and it was just one guy. And I guess he was a little scared to lose his job. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh no no you cannot work here uh, no 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 place for you no no don't even come back and so, all right but, but where is it in uh in po ah okay it's super close by to to the pyrenees and ah okay but you moved there because this girl that you met yeah, yeah. She was because of the there. salsa the salsa, dance. salsa yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay but because she was from there or yeah she was from ah, there okay, okay but she was studying in mexico is how i how i met her yeah yeah Okay, okay. Nice. And when you went there, you couldn't work. What did you do at the time? <laughs> Get anxious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, because yeah. actually that's one, one of the things I like to do the uh, most. My yeah. job, you know. It's your passion. So. Exactly. Yeah. So I couldn't paint. I couldn't do piercings. I couldn't do tattoos. I couldn't... So, so yeah, just go around, try to meet people, try to do some, some kind of networking. Uh -huh. like, yeah, connect myself with more people and... But complicated, huh? But could you speak French or you were speaking a in English? A little bit, a little uh, bit. Okay. Not, not as well. The only thing that I could speak when 
when I moved to Europe, it was Spanish yeah. and Italian so-so. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it was quite difficult, like, also to make an impact on the people living yeah. in Nampo there. Because mm -hmm. I guess if you move yeah. to Paris, maybe you could cope a yeah. bit with the English, right? But, uh, yeah. but there... But I think also the, um, the mentality of people when, when it was when you moved there, you liked it or you had some... Uh, unfor unfortunately, mostly all the people that I was around about, I mean, I'm glad for them, but it was just like a salsa thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything was salsa and salsa, and I see no salsa on the plate. You know? <laughs> no salsa on the tacos. So just salsa here, salsa there, dancing here, dancing there, and yeah. I say, well, I'm glad for you guys. You like that, but that's not, not for me. That's yeah. not my thing. Yeah. But then you broke up with her, or exactly. Oh, okay. Life is sad sometimes. You yeah. Know? But uh, okay, then you moved to Barcelona. So yeah, and was different like was better for you they speak spanish you speak yeah. spanish but it's funny even if they speak spanish they speak different spanish than us mm. so perhaps the first month sometimes i didn't understood what the people was talking also because they speak too <laughs> way too fast i would say yeah and <laughs> they don't say all the words like all the letters on the words okay. and like eh. <laughs> excuse me so yeah it was complicated um good for my luck i uh like the second day i was there I got boom, invited to work in a tattoo shop. Yeah. The owner nice. is Italian, so yeah. my Italian could improve. Yeah, nice. Uh, and uh, a couple that was working there, they were from here, from Luxembourg. Okay. They're the ones who invited me to come over. Ah. Like, yeah, we want to go there to, to see the family, etc. Saludo a Lorraine. Yeah. And, uh, but they were Spanish, Luxembourgish. What do uh, we She's mix? Irish, oh. but. Uh, yeah. She has been here for some time, mm -hmm. and the guy is from um, um, Hungary. Hungary, Hungary, yeah, Hungary, yeah. Hungary. yeah. And yeah, they were there. Okay, so they invited you here for a few days for for holidays. a month. Ah, they, for a month, yeah. They can we we go in there for a month. Um, we're gonna see the family, etc., and then we're gonna come back. So you can you have the free ride, you know. Mm -hmm. and you yeah, yeah. Say, All right, well, yeah, why not? So bam, there you go, Luxembourg. And how was the impact? Like oh, I mean, man. from Barcelona, it's like uh, from Mexico, France. Okay, then you go back in Barcelona, in a really warm place, nice, <laughs> yeah. funny place with plenty of things to do. And now Luxembourg. So you came here the first month. Uh, what have you done? You just went around, uh, meet new people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Go in some tattoo shops to say hi, etc. Okay. Meet mm -hmm. people. I arrive here, and then bam, snow. Oh. Shit. Not very common in Mexico. Uh, I would say, <laughs> yeah. First time this in the snow. i no, no. I saw already some like when I was a kid, but not like in this, this uh, <laughs> dimension. Let's say like that, you know, that you could do like a uh, snowman. Uh, yeah, snowman. Uh, <laughs> like in the movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Make making them a little funnier. <laughs> uh -huh. So I arrived here. We went to a little bit in the south, a little bit in the north, mm -hmm. here in the city. Um, yeah, and met the right people. That helped me a lot. I made I met very good, good friends. Mm -hmm. uh, funny fact, when I arrived here, I could not speak English. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So I could speak Spanish, Spanish. better Italian, a little bit of French, yeah, and uh, I start to pick up as well Portuguese, okay, and English. So my Portuguese got quite okay, mm -hmm. very fast, and then my English is like picking up on the yeah. dance. You know, I still you can still hear it a little bit. <laughs> um, well, in Luxembourg, doesn't help to improve your English, to be honest. But uh, yeah. well, from zero to now, <laughs> it helped me a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I met some some very good people, mm -hmm. and I see the the evolution because when I met them, and we have good vibe, but we could not communicate that well, mm. perhaps with hands and with funny things, you know. And then now, it's totally different because now we have we can have conversations about whatever yeah, yeah. topic, and it's alright. Uh, but in that case, in that time, for example, 
because I didn't have enough words, mm -hmm. I have to find my tricks. Yeah. So sometimes, yeah, I went around and people asked me, like, hey, Leonardo, how you doing? What you been up to? He's like, mm, how are you going to reply to that? Yeah, yeah. And oh, then, yeah, no, like, <laughs> but I have to reply in English, you know? So I was, oh, yes, I was uh, just in a bar and, you know, a little bit he, 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 ha, ha, ha. And now I'm here. But with this he, 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 ha, 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 mm -hmm. they understand a lot. Like, yeah, you were around. And <laughs> <laughs> so I found my tricks. Uh -huh. And then, of course, my vocabulary has been like Proved, yeah. growing and growing. Okay. And okay. It was easy to work as a tattoo art artist here at the beginning? Like, uh, um, I would say that yes. Yeah. And what was like the thing that convinced you to stay here in Luxembourg? Uh, that I could work as much as I want. Mm. Because when I was in Barcelona, there was a crisis. Mm. So. Oof. Oh, yeah, you were in 2008, you said 2007. So. Hey, exactly. 2008, I think, was yeah. a crisis. Yeah, financial, uh, financial crisis. crisis. Yeah. So, yeah, I ah. was there and perhaps in, in a week I could do a tattoo. And then the customers, they were like, ah, oh, no, but it's too expensive. I don't mm. know what, mm. blah, blah, blah. Like, so, yeah, no, and here, different yeah. different story. So, yeah, but I was like, North yeah. to Europe is different from uh, uh, South to Europe. Uh, yeah. I can make some examples. In Italy, when you go in a tattoo shop, you don't go to to just like one. Mm. If, you, if you have like to do a small work, you go to two or three artists, the lowest price. Yeah. If you like, if the tattoo met, uh, meets like your expectation, you go there. Otherwise, okay, if you have to do like a big piece or your back and everything, okay, you choose one artist and you're happy to pay like 2K uh, for a tattoo. Otherwise, no. But here in the North, uh, you're a tattoo artist. I respect your work and I pay you, like you ask me for 10K. Okay, 10K. No but problem. Yeah, totally. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but it's like uh, when you go to, to a restaurant mm -hmm. and they told you the pizza is 15 <laughs> euros. And then you go, oh, no, but you know what? Can you make the pizza cheaper and stuff like that? <laughs> like, bro, you don't do that in a restaurant. Or oh, yeah. if you go to, to, to let's say, a Sara or any kind of shop to get a sweater, yeah. you don't say, like, can you give me this cone? And, like, bro. Yeah. So in Italy, we do it. Yeah. yeah. It's always about bargaining. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even even when we, we've been to Egypt like uh, two weeks ago and they told us like in a particular city, uh, it's uh, only cash. So we couldn't pay like with the card. Mm. And uh, it was all about it. I mean, we met, uh, it was a, a guy who um, speaks Italian and he told us, guys, here you literally have to bargain to deal so every time. Even if you yeah. go to a taxi, just try to deal, try to deal with yes. it because... Uh, because the, cause the guys will try to uh, yeah get to us take whatever from yeah. you as they yeah, can yeah because exactly. as soon as they understand that we are tourists yeah. Oh, yeah. the price increase but we used to it because uh, I mean, in Italy it's uh, I mean I don't want to say like this but uh most of the time you know if you go to I mean not to a restaurant as you said but uh for any type of job you know if, if the pl plumber comes over the mm. electrician you're always trying to sure. get a little bit of discount I see, so I see. you, well, maybe it's, I don't know something from the southern of Europe because uh, here in Luxembourg, I, I mean, I never tried to bargain. I, I mean, I tried once with the police, but uh, ah. it, didn't, it didn't go well. No, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because once, uh, yeah, I can say. It. I mean, I got a fine because I didn't have my um, uh, the seat, seat belt. belt. The seat belt on the on the back seat, ah. right? So be careful and be careful, guys, because and. Uh, so we were like uh, two, two on the back, and uh, so the police police officer um, is telling us um, it was during COVID time. So uh, the first thing that I thought, okay, I'll, let me put the mask on, and she's like, uh, "What about the seatbelt?" I was like, uh, "Yeah, this one." Uh, I was just <laughs> we have we have one on the car. <laughs> well, we have many. <laughs> and then she said, uh, "You know, it's a uh, hundred fifty fine." I was like. Uh, whatever a and then i was um telling the other guy okay ca can you pay and then we split it it's like no 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 it's 150 each like so we had to pay 150 euros for uh, uh, even if the other people has a seat belt no i i didn't have on the back seat but uh, yeah i got the fine anyway so yeah, yeah. 
I, I, didn't, uh, I, I didn't know you had to put your seat belt. Yeah. Behind, you know? so I, and, I knew, I knew. And, and what I did Everybody is... has no, to. And, and, and what I did, I was like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, in Italy it's not like this, so sorry. Was, I mean, it's the first time. I, uh, from next time on, I will make sure to put the uh, seat belt. Bye. No, it's true. Good seat is issue. Okay, we're on camera. Yes, yes. yes. Um, <laughs> and so she said, uh, "No, no, 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 no. We're not bargaining here. It's like uh, yeah. no discount. It's like uh, <laughs> pay over. It's like a cash or card." It was like, uh, "Yeah, okay, card." Uh, like, <laughs> there's no no way to to to. Yeah, it's cool. The police here. They also have the pass, like to pay. And yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> the up, system up, works. Up, uh, up, yeah, up to date. No, but uh, to be honest, it's really cool here in Luxembourg because uh, I mean, you don't need to to withdraw cash at all. You can pay uh, almost everywhere with the card, so it's mm-hmm. quite uh, handy, right? But in some point, like in some moment, Luxembourg is gonna be like uh, places like Amsterdam, just cashless. Yeah, you yeah. Pay yeah. Everywhere with the with the telephone or with the card and. I no. And um, hopefully with coffee shops or so. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have some. I hope so. They say. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be legal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so it's already you can already grow, grow for grow for plants. plants. Yeah. In your house now. I found out a lot. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. in Spain, I think you can have two plants mm-hmm. per person. But do you know how big those things they grow? Like no. Oh, okay. Christmas tree style. <laughs> yeah. Really. <laughs> Yeah, I have a friend who has a couple there in, in uh, Mallorca. Yeah. And I was like, bro, you can just put, they put the decoration, decoration yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Christmas and damn. And put some presents uh, on yeah. the bottom. Like, <laughs> you save money on Christ- um, Christmas tree and um, yeah. the, the, the tree is going to give you some gift to smoke. You mm-hmm. know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. For my friends. There you go. Uh, uh, not bad. Nah. And uh, if you... Um, um, have you ever thought about like uh, moving out of Luxembourg or going somewhere else? Going back to Barcelona or going no, back ba- to Mexico? Barcelona, no. Mm. I mean, Barcelona is a nice city. Um, but I found that there is just too much party and not enough work. Mm. Well, at least that that's on based on my own experience. Yeah, you know? experience yeah. mm. Mexico... So I miss tacos. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the food and shit. But no, uh, I don't think I will. Well, never say never. Uh-huh. I don't think I will move back. Um, of course, I like to go there to visit family, friends. And of course, I have many customers. And mm-hmm. I have tattoos to do there as well. Yeah. So, But how often do you go back? Since I opened my own shop, I didn't have chance to go there. Mm. Because I, I have been doing another like bigger trips to Asia, for example, or mm-hmm. some other places. Um, perhaps this next year. Mm-hmm. So people, take your appointments. <laughs> <laughs> Book in advance, please. Yeah, put you in contact with my manager, <laughs> check with her. <laughs> and how does it feel to... It, it, it's the first time you open your own shop? In Europe, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How does it feel? Like uh, Nice, I... I I found that my shop is like uh, the graphic representation of myself and my beliefs. Okay. Yeah, and what I do. So it's, yeah, people can can look at me and they understand a little bit. Yeah, this guy is, is, is crazy. Now, <laughs> this guy is, is different, it's funky or whatever. Yeah. But when you are there, you even don't feel in Luxembourg. Mm, okay. It's a totally different place. Yeah. So... Has been nice. Has been a very nice experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as well as lots of work. Yeah. Because I, I take care of all the interior design. Uh, I have a huge collection of antiques. As okay. I mentioned it before. Yeah, yeah. I come from a family, from family. of art yeah, yeah. Um So yeah, very special collection. Okay. <sighs> to do all the interior design, it takes... If you're going to switch a little bit, perhaps a week. Oh. Yeah, and I, I'm not I'm not 15 anymore. You know? <laughs> I get tired and yeah, as well I want to do other things. So, okay. Yeah, but working since since the color on the walls and the texture I'm going to put on it and then the thing before that is making let's say like a sketch. Mhm. 
so how how the thing it should look look like yeah. uh-huh and uh, how i gonna organize the things and stuff because yeah i have like an idea but it never is like 100 percent clear uh-huh. it's just like yeah this is the direction i should go and it goes like that uh-huh. and uh but do you still go for conventions or yeah well now with covid etc uh-huh. i didn't do any uh-huh um the last convention i did i think it was in belgium okay yeah competitions as well i i am um, didn't do uh-huh. in some time yeah i did some before and i got prices and stuff i didn't took the prices i didn't keep them because they wasn't that beautiful so <laughs> yeah i just keep one that I, that one is like nice uh-huh. i like it like to me it looks just beautiful so that one i keep the okay. other ones It was for like for the high school graduation. You yeah, didn't exactly. Care. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, some some they were he- from tattoo conventions here. Some in Netherlands. Okay. Yeah. Uh so only in Europe or did you go so overseas? Uh well in Mexico as well. I did okay. some. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh in Asia, yeah, as well. I got invited to a Nepal tattoo convention. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, it's uh that convention is it's nice because you don't have that many artists, but all the artists you have is like top. Yeah, top exactly. Mm. That was the first time that I felt myself like, oh wow, because they sent me like super nice email, like yeah, we're gonna be super glad to get you as an artist and this and okay. that. Okay, and how uh, does it work? They pay for everything, like accommodation, flight, and stay no, there, or no? Ah, no, no. <laughs> you just pay your stuff. And ah, okay. <laughs> But so you just get invited and then uh, uh-huh. but up the to thing you. is lo- not everybody get invited. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because you have just perhaps like 20 artists. Mm-hmm. So it's very select. And how does it work like a convention because I've never been to one so it's like uh you have your own stand and you showcase your work or uh how does it work? Yeah, you have like many different stands yeah. from every artist. Um and you show your work like if you have paints, if you have a uh, tattoos like pictures or uh-huh. maybe you bring that ipad and it's on the screen happening like that all the yeah. time okay like that and uh the audience in nepal how was it like uh but ah wait is it only for business or it is like a uh, normal people that can go and see yeah, everybody can, yeah, you, can ah, okay. you can enter you pay your ticket ah, okay, okay. usually if you want to get that when the, the artist has like a free spot mm-hmm. of course like uh Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, people there was super nice. I didn't expect that people would go so crazy for what I do. Because, mm. uh, yeah, I have some paints, I have tattoos, like tattoo pictures. And then someone came and asked me like to, to buy a paint. I said, yeah, no problem, a copy. Like I, I have just 20 copies, so very limited edition as well. And then some other guy came and was like, oh, do you sell your banner? A banner that I draw the, just especially for that convention. I was like, I didn't thought about it, but yeah, of course. <laughs> and um, I just told him, like, you look, I just need it till Sunday because I'm going to be working here. Yeah. But yeah, you can have it. How much you want it? Oh, that much. Oh, nice. Thank you. For what do you want it? Oh, from my restaurant. I said, oh, all right. So I sell my banner. I sell paints. I did a big tattoo. I sell everything. Okay. Yeah. And people were very very like supportive with what i do uh-huh so maybe now there is a restaurant in nepal that is called yeah. Nardo black uh <laughs> no but they, they have my banner for sure from black karma no in, in Kathmandu. Nice. Yeah. that's nice okay mm-hmm. and uh how is your that now that you you have your own shop how is your uh, like your daily life in here in luxembourg my daily life how it is like uh, oh many things to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i wish just uh, i could have sometimes more time to to paint even okay. if i have some already but i need to really to count the hours because if not i but when you say painting you mean on canvas or yeah, or yeah, for yeah. ah okay or on canvas or in whatever surface okay yeah, yeah. lamps or shoes or anything okay. yeah yeah Okay, okay. Yes. Cool. You also have to take care of Quetzal. <laughs> exactly. The small He's dog. always around. Yeah, small dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's always around when I'm like, I have my table where I'm painting, and because it's small, I can put it on the top in his little bed, and he's always <laughs> looking what I'm doing. <laughs> and Watching if over. I'm doing 
right right <laughs> like bro i think you should wash your paint again <laughs> <laughs> yeah he starts to bark <laughs> and, f- and fill up my bowl by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's i'm getting hungry he's, he's seven right seven years old yeah. seven years old it's almost older than me <laughs> yeah ah, yeah in uh animal years. lifespan yeah yeah how much is it like seven yeah times seven six yeah, or the seven first year uh, it comes like a year and then okay. after that is like seven so it's, uh, six f- six times seven plus one quick math how much <laughs> 43 okay you sure yes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I finished just like high school. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I do tutoring like uh, math, teaching math during weekends, of course. Because during the week I work, so I'm the math guy. All right, we cover math that. with the A, not with the. <laughs> <A. laughs> we have a cooker at the house. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty mad shit. And uh, during your free time, what do you do? Like, uh, w- like, do you, I don't know, do also normal stuff? Do you watch uh, TV shows <laughs> or you just painting? Uh, and, uh, no, <laughs> what I do in my free time is, well, walk my dog, um, see friends, trying to do, like, the normal stuff, you know? Yeah. Meet people. Uh, I have to eat as well. Time yeah, to time, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I used to, to go and train quite often to, okay. to a CrossFit box. Ah. But uh, for the moment, I I prefer to take that time for painting. Yeah. Because if not, it's an hour less and it's an hour that I could spend walking my dog. So yeah. I will be more quiet when I'm painting an extra hour. You know? I see. I see. So I see. Really, I need to con- count the hours. Wow. And now we have seen that um, you will start a new experience in a tattoo shop here in Luxembourg. Yeah. You're the, excited about that? On the north. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been uh, seven years. I I have been working mostly myself. Okay. So the thing with that is like you don't you don't see when your skills uh, they grow up. You just see yourself. You normalize everything. Okay. Uh huh. And then when I was there, like the my manager was telling me like, wow, your your tattoos are like super precise and very fast. I said really. And to me, as I say, I mm. normalize it. Yeah. So yeah. to me, it's just normal. But for them, because they see many different people passing by. Yeah. So when they see me, it's they are different. No? Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the name of the tattoo, tattoo shop? It's uh, Addict Inn, Inc., it's in but it's in Merch. Okay. It's north of Luxembourg. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. okay. Uh-huh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Still to discover Luxembourg. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Merch uh, is developing quite fast. Huh? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Let's see in and two years how that is going to be. I think. Is that far from the city center? 20 minutes. Oh, 20 okay. Minutes. okay. By, by car, by car. By <laughs> car. Yeah. And you live here by yourself, right? Yeah, actually here in the city center. Okay. Yeah. No family, nothing. Just friends. Just friends. And my dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. He's always around, guys. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So like um, you work also on the weekends, Saturday, you know, Saturday, just, yeah. Sunday. In this case, today no, uh-huh. you're busy here. But yeah, uh, no Sundays as well. I do not work Sundays okay. and Mondays. No, okay. Sundays just to chill, and then Mondays is to go around if I need to get like uh, brushes, pigments, or sweaters, or yeah. right? mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever you know. Yeah. Do the normal shit. And usually, like um, with all <laughs> with all this work. Um, had time like to travel around Europe uh, mm-hmm. to discover a bit around my yeah I've been having time to to do that uh, but my next trip is uh, going to uh, Praga okay. ah. I gonna I gonna hang out with uh, Kips uh-huh. like my master in calligraphy okay, okay. Ah, very okay. talented motherfucker really, ah. <laughs> really. okay you're gonna so go for a weekend there perhaps more okay. like a week or something like this I would like to paint Oh, okay. With him, yeah. Uh, he with lives there. In whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has his uh, his studio there and his place and everything. So maybe you could like be a guest at his shop. Uh, I don't think we're gonna tattoo. Ah, okay. We're just gonna paint. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the the main uh, purpose, at least. And when I hang out with him, of course, because he as well, he's someone very interesting that has lots of things to say. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. And like, um, 
you're an artist so um like uh, you do tattoos of course because like uh, it's money you have to survive survive like but um what you like most like to paint on canvas or you prefer to do tattoos mm, it depends sometimes some canvas they just on I just don't get the the feeling, and I know I have to finish them. Okay. But it's like I have to finish them. <laughs> uh, and okay, I'm gonna put it inside. I wanna work in this other one or in this other thing. Work a little bit. Work a little bit there, and then looking around again, like uh, okay, going like, yeah, <laughs> and like uh, procrastinated a, li- a little bit, you know. It's all about inspiration when you have the idea. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Sometimes, and with tattoos. Yeah, sometimes the customer is super nice. Yeah, no problem. Sit down, start tattooing, and you have a nice conversation. Mm-hmm. It's it's really the band. Okay. Yeah, sculptors I like as well, like the installations and stuff. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a lot of stuff. But uh, do you have someone working for you uh, at the shop or just yourself? Back back on the time, I used to have four different persons. Okay. Yeah, and um. When I start to realize, like, no, I don't want to have more people with me. Oh, really? It's when, uh, for example, I was working in, in Switzerland. Uh-huh. I used to go work there quite often, perhaps like a, a, one week every month. Mm-hmm. And it was sometimes more stressful because when I was working there, these guys were calling me like, oh, this the machine doesn't work. The machine, it worked. But you sell yourself as a professional tattoo artist. And you don't know how to use that machine because mm. I use it before leaving. Yeah. So please check. And then, yeah, 10 minutes later, like, oh, no, yeah. yeah it works. <laughs> I, w- I was doing it wrong. He said, of course, man. <laughs> but yeah, I already got stressed. Bec- I was tattooing in Switzerland. Yeah. In the middle of my tattoo, someone called me like, ah, is this and is that. It's like, guys, you should know how to solve these things without yeah. contacting me. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. So I said, no, no. Better. I take care of all tattoos. Yeah. I know the service is good. Yeah. I know I'm taking care of everybody yeah. and no no extra stress. But don't you think for the future, like at some point you you will have to delegate to, to someone to I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like for the moment I'm I'm uh, starting a, a new residence in, in Merch. Yeah, the, this so one. So I'm still have time, you know, to mm-hmm. think about what's up there and this and that. Yeah, 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 but as long as you have time and you have commissions, it's uh, mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. fine, right? Yeah. No, because um, yeah, because I was wondering, like, how is it? Like, how do you? I mean, if you had someone working for you, how do you choose it? Like, uh, how how do you address whether someone is good or not? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, if you tell me that you know you're able to use the machine, then uh <laughs> yeah. No, for example, uh, friends are coming over to work sometimes, like huh. they do guests, and I know I can leave the key. And they know like even how to switch off the lights and on. Yeah, yeah. Like they know everything how to do it because it's kind of the same standards everywhere. Mm-hmm. That's something that I took very good care. Yeah. So all the machines that you use, for example, to to do your stencils or the programs you use on the computer are the same as everywhere else. So okay. doesn't matter you go, you just get a keyboard, pam, 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 you start to your thing, and then the printer works the same. Yeah. The stencil machine works the same. Yeah. Uh, the tattoo stations they has the same power supply everybody so that's that's really very comfortable because when I was going around I was having the same standards so yeah. I knew like oh, I just bring my machines my needles and I just plug in bam done okay and uh, regarding the thing that you mentioned before about the shooting mm-hmm. like uh, video shooting how, how do you end up doing that oh um First, when I when I start to to work in my social media, I thought like, okay, this is a way that I need to learn how to present my product. So the first the first uh, step is like, learn how to do pictures. Mm-hmm. So yeah, twenty hours in YouTube, no, looking <laughs> tutorials. Yeah, same. Man. <laughs> uh-huh. So from there, to understand how my camera works or how plus minus any mm-hmm. camera work about the sensor, the lens, from there, uh, video. Okay. And then, yeah, I got uh, 
I was working with this uh, a very good friend of mine, Vicky Gomez. Uh, I was doing um, action videos yeah. for him on his tricks. So yeah, of course that as well helped me out to like to grow up on my skills, not only painting and drawing and tattooing and yeah. sculptors, but as well in the photography and the video. Mm -hmm. Because it's also really important, like how to show your product. Yeah. Exactly. You have to sell yourself at the end. Yeah, yeah. because like uh, that's the thing. You have yeah. to sell your product properly. Yeah. And if you have a nice picture to present it, of course, talks more than uh, mm. uh, like if you just did a picture and even you don't know how to work with the, with the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in this time where when you go on Instagram, like sometimes the pictures are really not tattoo, but in general, like are really far from reality. Like sometimes you see some videos that they're really, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. amazing. But maybe you know the place, you've been there, and it's like, okay, it was not looking like that, that good, you know? Mm -hmm. so or, like, or like boob song or... <laughs> <laughs> Already the faces, you know, like the filters, uh, they look a little bit more red or more white, etc. Yeah. Yeah. That's like going way more farther. Like than expectation of reality. Yeah, it's like it's a versus reality. It's like uh, the cereals that you see on the advertisement, and then you buy them, and it's like yeah. a soggy and shit. It's like a hashtag no filter. Uh, <laughs> exactly, no, no filter, filter needed. <laughs> yeah. Way too many filters. Come on, no filter. Yeah, but um, we should improve also this. Yeah, yeah, because we have to work on it. So yeah, bro. Yeah, we have to look good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some good lights, some good cameras, and you're gonna be set up. Yeah. Uh, um, as soon as we get some money. Yeah. And and what do you miss the most about uh, about Mexico? Mm. What I miss? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Um, mm. perhaps chips. They has very like different flavors. Okay. Everything is kind of spicy over there, you know. Even the the drinks, like alcoholic drinks, uh -huh. they even spicy or more sour. Yeah. Everything here in Europe is sweet. Yeah. So chips there, you have a spicy one, so like um, cheese flavor, so mm -hmm. etc. Candies as well, candies for kids, they mm -hmm. are spicy as well. All these no things, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? All these things, yeah. I miss them. Wow. Yeah. Just someone asked me not long ago as well, like. Like, what do you miss from, from Mexico? It's like, yeah, junk food. <laughs> 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 Chips, candies, etc. You know yep. how to cook? Yeah, yes. You cook a lot, like Mexican food or... Um, uh, well, I can cook a little bit of everything. Well, you know what? I never cook pizza. I mean, doing the, okay. the dough and, and stuff. No. But yeah, I can cook. Mexican, yes. I can do some very traditional dishes. Like, tell us. Because uh, I really don't know anything sopa, about that. Sopa azteca. Aztec what? soup. <laughs> Aztec soup. Uh, yeah. Ah, so it's a pasteca. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> Not very <laughs> complicated. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah, it's first it's uh, like the base of the soup is tomato and spicy. Um, has chicken, has tortillas, but the tortillas is prepared in a different way mm -hmm. as hey. well. Huh. You're good at it, uh, at it, to do it? Mm, well, my friends, they like it a lot. They finish <laughs> with the soup, so... <laughs> Feel free to invite us. Uh, next time I'm cooking, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I went to Mexico, the food was, like, uh, godly. You also like spicy. Yeah, also, so... No, I don't like much spicy. No? no. And, I, and, and... After and I feel burning here, oh. I was like... Yeah, and afterwards <laughs> on the toilet somewhere else. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there there is a name for that. La, uh, ben, venganza, venganza de Moctezuma, Moctezuma revenge. <laughs> ah, because yeah, yeah. When the Spanish people came, they won the the gold, and Moctezuma it was a uh, an empire. Yeah, emperor. Yeah, emperor. Yeah, But it was so in the south, right? It was Maya, no? Yeah, Montezuma. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So at the gold of Montezuma, a lot of the yeah. Yeah. Same, same they guy. want the sopa steca. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. So they they want the gold. He say no gold. He say we wanna burn your feet. So they burn his feet. Okay. Like, so his revenge was with the food. You know. So okay. They, they suffer because it's spicy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Actually, when I went there, I really loved the culture because 
like um, at least for Mayan, I don't know the rest, I, I guess the rest of Mexico, but uh, actually the tourist guide was really proud of like telling us the story and the culture, mm -hmm. but even like mm -hmm. the way they see death is like uh, totally different from the Christian one. So, you know, death is like, uh, yeah, it's really sad, you know, even the celebration and stuff. But in Mexico is other way around, like the death is seen like a sister. That's why you see the skulls with so many diamonds and decoration because sure. it's something nice. And I think, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but even when someone dies, like uh, you don't have like a party, like proper party, but they, they used to do this stuff they, where they go into the basement and uh, they actually eat a lot. and uh, mm -hmm. Well, not, not necessarily has to be in a basement, you know, they, yeah. they do it on <laughs> the, the first room. floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 uh -huh. but uh, I, I mean, how they used to do it like back then because mm -hmm. they told us about the, the history and everything. And I was really like, uh, yeah, amazed by th these stories, right? Because... Uh, yeah, the Western view of death is literally like really sad and yeah. really, but there is like, um, it was really cool. And what I also liked is the, the mezcal, you know, mezcal. Oh, nice. And uh, with the worm, it is like a worm at the bottom of the, the bottle. And el agave, yeah, the, uh, the, the agave is this specific cactus. Yeah, the, the leaf, right? Of yeah, the the, there is a worm yeah. in the agave. So that one, or oh, many, it depends. Yeah. That's the one that you take and you put it on the, yeah. the bottle. So you have the, the worm at the bottom of the bottle. So yeah, once you finish the, the, the alcohol, right, the, the, the liquid, you eat also the worm. And I tried it as like a, an explosion in your mouth because it's really, because, you know, it's soaking up with all the alcohol. Whoa. So it's really, it's really strong. Stronger than a shot. Uh. <laughs> and then I don't know if it's a true story or not, but I heard like basically... You know, because here in uh, in Europe or even in US, we do like when we drink tequila, mm. uh, we put the salt, mm -hmm. and then uh, so you lick the salt, tequila, and then lemon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I don't know if it's true, but uh, uh, yeah, basically, yeah, you told me that. Story, yeah, because yeah. the Americans saw when they came. I mean, to the US, they they came to Mexico. They saw it. Uh, I mean, doing from the elder people. But they were not doing with salt. They were doing with the pepper, uh, pepper paprika, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Kind of. See? Yeah. So they were doing s more or less the same thing, but it was lime, not lemon. Uh, but they, of course, tried it. And, you know, Americans, they're like um, weaklings. No, but uh, <laughs> it's too too much for them. And so when they imported like this thing of drinking tequila, they, they put salt instead of paprika because it's like uh, lighter. And uh, and lemon instead of lime because you know lemon is a uh, a little bit uh, um, yeah so I don't know if it's true but uh, I like to think so but uh. Uh, well for example me my friends and a lot of people that I know we don't take the lemon and salt uh -huh. perhaps later on yeah. when you start to feel more the tequila I yeah. when yeah. start to hit when bring a little bit salt and lemon. Yeah, about that story, honestly, I don't know. Mm. Um, but yep. we, we sometimes put paprika. It's kind of chili. Yeah, uh, chili uh -huh. maybe. I yeah. told you everything there is spicy. Spicy, yeah, yeah, yeah. But since then, I just, tra I just drink the tequila straight because... Um, but actually, also, you have to say that, uh, I mean, Mexico, the tequila is way better because uh, here in Europe, mostly it's the white one, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, the one that you have in Mexico is more uh, goldish, you know, the color yellowish. And that's a better quality. Reposado. than. It's yeah. when uh, it has been on the barrels for longer. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And it's a uh, way better, uh, I mean, quality. I mean, I don't want to say you can drink it like water, but... Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. No. Uh, <laughs> drink tequila like water. But yeah. yeah, but you can, if I can recommend you one that you can get here, it's a huh? little a little pricey. Okay. Uh, the name is Casa Amigos. Casa Amigos. Yeah. Okay. George Clooney is part of the the, the team that has mm -hmm. this, oh, okay. this brand and uh, some other famous people. In okay. Casa Amigos. And you can get it here in Luxembourg. Okay. Uh, and uh, what's your favorite restaurant here in... Um, favorite restaurant? Oh, so let's say Mexican and then eventually... Oh, do you have do you have one or the thing is like I I know different restaurants here in Luxembourg Mexican restaurants, and I like to go to all of them to take different dishes. Okay. Uh huh. 
Por ejemplo, las quesadillas en, ma en Mamacita. I really like them. The, all the selection of tequilas they have as well. Super good. Okay. Margaritas. Wow. Sí. Un saludo. A Gap. Thank you for the margaritas, bro. Um, for example, gringos, they have a very specific type of, uh, of meat for the tacos. Okay. And the girl that is preparing the tacos for me, she already knows that extra salsa verde, nothing on the meat, and this yeah. and that. So, yeah. There is another one um, that is in Hollerish. And there they have some... Um, The arrachera tacos is just another specific type of meat. Mm -hmm. And the el café maya. Mm -hmm. Café yeah. maya. Café maya. That's a bomb. So watch out. Okay. But it's it, it's supposed to be like a dessert. Okay. But like once I, I, I got that with a friend of mine. After the dinner and yeah, let's go out and this and that. We finish and then uh, he went by bike to his place, but he got lost in the park. <laughs> Yeah, and thanks to the Café Maya, Julio, thank you. <laughs> But how, how is it prepared? Like, how is it made? Uh, f honestly, it's a very complicated recipe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it's a, a coffee? Or it has coffee. Ah, then you add up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Café Maya. Eh. Yes, coffee. Uh -huh. And then they put fire on it. And yeah, okay. it's like a show, you know. Like ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I think I've never been... Mexican restaurant here. Uh, oh, no, we've been to Mamacita, ah, sí. but just for drinking. Ah, okay, okay. Because it was a birthday party of a Mexican friend of mine. Mm. Oh, yeah, but it was like two years ago, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it was actually my first restaurant in yeah, yeah. Luxembourg. To mm. go there. Yeah. 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 It was good. Yeah, we drank Negroni there. Yeah. Negroni? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at you guys. Uh, yeah, the bartender. Uh, What? <laughs> no, I mean, because we are a bit picky about uh, drinks, yeah, right? So picky. here we always try to order Negroni, but then we regret it because they're it's not most like of the time is like really yeah. bad. Mm. Like, it's really easy drink, but to make it good, it's really hard. Yeah. Sure. And uh, just drink gin tonic now. But at the time, uh, I think it was good there. I mean, yeah, I, don't, I, I don't remember, so yeah, probably... It, 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 was, it, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, but uh, yeah, it took like 15 minutes to do it. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> no Negroni. No, no Negroni. Negroni. <laughs> I just like you go with Margaritas gin tonic. Uh, <laughs> and just drink gin tonic, you know. And that's why I always go to Corrad, because they have good gin and everything. They know me. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm, <laughs> easy. There you cannot lose. Yeah. And, uh, and any restaurant... If you, I mean, not Mexican, what do you, is what do you like to eat? It depends what, <laughs> it depends what, what I feel like eating. Okay. Yeah. Um, if I would like to eat, for example, meat, mm -hmm. I will go to Red Beef, Grand Cafe, my Red Beef. Ah, Red Beef. We ah, went, Grand we, Cafe, we, yeah, yeah. The we one went plus, with my dad. Uh, yeah, plus uh, mm. Guillaume. No, no plus Darm. Plus, plus Darm. Darm. Ah, yeah, yeah. Plus yeah. Yeah, the burgers are really good there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm. Uh, pizzas, uh, be careful. Honesto, honesto, okay. I like. Yeah, yeah, and they are my friends as well. So yeah, it's always nice to be around. <clears throat> um, if I would like to get some Asian, like Indian food, I will go to Himalaya. Himalaya, yeah, yeah. yeah I heard about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, mamacita, of course, mm -hmm. I like. Um. See, I I don't have anything else on my okay. mind right now. So pretty okay. much like, or cooking at home, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, especially during COVID time. So, <laughs> yeah, totally. Long winter is coming. Oof, man, winter is not the same as here as in Mexico. So. Yeah. So you you miss <coughs> like the weather, like there was in Mexico. Mexico. It's a little, yeah, a little. The thing is, like for example, there. In summer, if you go under the sun, but don't go between 12 and 4 o'clock because <laughs> you're just going to melt, you know. You come back as a lobster. All brown. All born. Like this color almost. Yeah. <laughs> Cancer on the skin and shit. Yeah, yeah. The sun there is very hard. That's something that, um, like, foreigner people doesn't get it. When they see sun there, oh, yes, boom, on the sun, on the floor, 
all day long. I mean, what's happened? All red, burning, and yeah. you don't do that. Maybe two hours in the very afternoon or mm. early in the morning, it's okay. But if not, protect yourself from the sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We learned that lesson when we were in Fuerteventura. Ah, sí. uh, when yeah. we were in Fuerteventura, like, uh, you know, the, the wind is so strong. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it's like really, really windy. Strong. Yeah. But uh, also the sun, right? But you, you don't realize you're like actually yeah, burning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like like burning. Sun, sun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like like it's like grilling. The literally. first day was really sunny. Like, you know, you open your phone and you check the weather. It was like 28 degrees, 30 degrees. It was like, okay, you go under the sun and it's so windy that at a certain point you also, you also feel cold. But yeah, you almost. don't realize that you're burning. In fact, like the first day we were like on near the pool with all our friends. You know, like, okay. I don't know if I'm getting tan or not. And <laughs> at night, <laughs> we, is, yeah, like, like at night we were like all red. It was crazy. Yeah, we should protect always ourselves. Yeah, sunscreen always good. Put your sunscreen on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should we go over some uh, questions? Yes. Ready. Feel free. On the grill. Oh my right. god! I uh, put it in the middle. So. Okay. Mm. I go I'm, first. I'm, why? First come, first serve. I don't know. Yeah. You have a coin? No, we don't use cash here in Luxembourg. Nah, <laughs> flip, flip the card. Flip a card. <laughs> okay. Or we can do Sasso Carta Forbice. Okay. Aspetta, non si vede, però nella telecamera. Dai. Eh, aspetta, come si fa? Bim, boom, bam. No, Sasso Carta Forbice. No, bim, boom, bam. Eh, okay. Bim, boom, bam. Bim, boom, bam. Okay, okay I won. Okay, yeah, I want to ask, I really want to ask this celebrity crush. Celebrity, oof, Laura Pausini. No oh, way. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's, <laughs> the way, that's the way how uh, I learned to speak uh, Italian with her songs. Okay. Ah. Yeah. But she okay. also sings in uh, Spanish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know she's really popular Spanish, there. Yeah. But what it got me cultivated it was uh, singing in Italian. Uh, the, okay. the salsa. <laughs> the special salsa. <laughs> totally. Okay. Uh, pa, 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 pa. What is the stupidest thing you spent money on? Huh. Mm, stupid thing that I spent money on. It. Ah, that's a hard one, man. <laughs> uh, ha! That's what top, she said. Top three. <laughs> top three, no, mom. It's, um, yeah, top three. It's... Uh, Stupid things. Uh, I don't know. Cutting my hair, maybe. As you can see, it's quite <laughs> long. <laughs> I don't cut my hair that often. I don't spend money that much in uh, hairdressers. Um, like, for example, for me, whenever we go to a club and uh, we, we order bottles, I always regret it because, like, it is so fucking expensive. Why did it... Why did we do it? And you know, if you we buy, are drunk. yeah, <laughs> if you are at the shop, it costs like ten times less. So every time I think these are literally, it's like washing washing money yeah. down the toilet, yeah. flushing. Sorry, you know. Sure. What? Well, the thing is, like, I I don't see the same way flushing because money. I, I'm enjoying the experience, yeah, as well. So it's it's not just the bottle, but it's like I'm I'm with my homies. Yeah, yeah, that's drinking that's the thing, etc. And the place is nice, but yeah, let's. Pay for yeah, that's also true. Uh huh. But mm, dumb things that I spend my money, I would say. Or a wise person, I see. I I will say I don't know things for the camera, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's not that dumb because I use. No, it you for, use it for yeah. working. Yeah. So, yeah. Perhaps no, not even acrylic. <laughs> no. Um, I will say just that one. At least now that I remember the the hair dressing. <laughs> I have a picture with you with curly hair. Picture? A picture. Ah, a ah. picture with curly hair. Not with me, but once a girlfriend back in the days there in Mexico, mm -hmm. she made like curly hair to me. So yeah. it's like having an afro. <laughs> yeah, that picture is gold, but I don't have it. Uh, yeah. We would ask for it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, maybe. Uh, Yes. Yeah, go for yeah. it. What is your favorite sex position? 
The good ones. <laughs> <laughs> the one that lasts longer. <laughs> the one with the girl in it. <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And honestly, I, I, I move a lot. <laughs> so I, I don't take Go with the one. flow. Yeah, 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 exactly. You have to read your partner, you know. Maybe your partner is not comfortable in that position. You ask, maybe. Yeah. How you feel? I think that's very important, yeah. especially during the performance. Yeah. How you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Instant feedback. Eh? Yeah. It's important. Right? Snapshot. <laughs> um, okay, some actually we replied already. But no, actually, favorite food in the world. So if you had to pick one, like... Uh, Pizza. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Earn it. Since nice. I was a kid, I was always crazy for pizza. <laughs> Always nice, nice. Uh, first up, you open in the morning on your phone. First up, I open in the morning once you wake up. Spotify, Spotify, the music. Okay, boom. And then, yeah, I have to check like all the other social medias like uh -huh. Instagram, Facebook, whatever to check the messages. And what do you go for? Like, what do you listen to? Um, some kind of melodic hip hop. Something like that would get me a little bit on the moon. Mm. <laughs> yeah. To jump into the shower. <laughs> yeah. If I will take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when do you take a shower usually? Morning or evening? Mornings. Morning, yeah. Mornings. Me too. It helps to Just wake me up. Yeah, or like this, I, I, I'm ready for the day. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, if I, I, I go to the gym to work out, mm -hmm. after that. Afterward, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, hmm. let's say if something that you like to do but you're terrible at um, something that I like to do but I'm terrible at mm. Things with computers, maybe. Okay. But I didn't do it actually. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> if if it will be like programming and stuff like this, I know I will, I will like it. But until I don't have certain knowledge about it, yeah. I will suck. So okay. For sure. Uh, most foolish foolish thing you have done for love. Um. Moving to. No, <laughs> moving to the Pyrenees. In France. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't regret anything I have done with love because it has been always with a good, like, uh, feeling. Yeah. And if I did it, it's because I have like a lot of feelings for that person. So yeah. mm, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, Getting a tattoo, a couple tattoo. Not even. No. No. Okay. <laughs> like no, the yeah. one that get in the, the the name of the girlfriend or boyfriend, and then they just uh, uh, strike through because yeah. I mean, yeah. I I asked the, like the partners I have like if they can do a small tattoo for me. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm such a bitch like a customer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they they are all nervous, you know, and they start to make the tattoo and ah, I move, I scare them, or even I I push the hand, you know, so, like, <laughs> stuff like this. It's funny because. Course for me, I know she's not a pro, and the thing that we're doing is too small and it's just symbolic. Yeah, so yeah. the important thing is the hand that is doing it. Uh, okay. I see. Yeah. But um, see, I, I have I, I have been done that, but I don't regret. Okay. Okay. You know? That's interesting. Her That's point. Cool. Um, if it was what you're currently uh, currently doing, so you're you're an artist. Mm -hmm. What do you think will be your current profession? Architect. <laughs> no, oh, perhaps a musician. Okay. I, I have okay. been always in in music. Mm. Yeah. Do you do you play some instruments or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mostly everything that has uh, string. String. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's easier for me to pick it up. Okay. Yeah, I well, when I was in Mexico, I was in a school as well. So. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Okay. Guitar, Guitar yeah. cello, violin, whatever it's with strings. Yeah. Piano never try. I mean, we have a piano at home, but playing like this, <laughs> that's it. My sister, she was good at it. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. Sing music. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And what's your next uh, accomplishment? Your next uh, next, next target? Goal. goal. Next goal. 
um, getting to 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Survive this year, man. Jesus Wake Christ. up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I, I have like short term goals, you know. <laughs> so, eh, next, take my dog for a walk. <laughs> no, I will say that at least pass the year. You, you don't know how things go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And things can go very, very fast. So, okay. Carpe diem, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so let's say if if someone finds you at the bar, so maybe at Conrad, mm -hmm. what can that person get you? Like, what's your uh, drink to go? I will. Like to I will not go for a drink. I will think it's about the if the person is nice and friendly and humble. Okay. Yeah, because I have a something like some weeks ago, a girl tried to do that, but. She huh. wasn't nice at all. She wasn't? No. And then What she, do you mean? What do uh, she was there. She was a little too loud. She was taking too much space. And then she brought friends and they, they started a discussion. And I told, guys, please, can you move all this to your table back? Ah. And then the other guys left, but she stays like, so please. <laughs> and she, she started like, I'm leaving whenever I want, etc. Like, no problem. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. And she went behind of me and then... Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. She she was quite pissed, and uh, she wasn't nice at all. And then she wants to throw the glass on me, and yeah. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We have psychos in Luxembourg. Yeah. So if you want to get me, just be nice. Okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, beer, beer is always uh, something that I get. Yeah. Which one? In the restaurant. Uh, if, if and I, mean. I oh, actually, this one is also nice. Uh, what uh, what advice would you give to your younger self, to younger Leonardo? Do not stress that much. That uh, if he could see what I have been doing and where I am, yeah. So he wouldn't be that stressed with uh, making things happening. So okay. Just chill, and you're gonna be there. Okay. See. Enjoy the ride. Yeah. It's like. So, and be careful with the. With the type of friendships, you know. Mm, yeah. Be careful with the salsa also. <laughs> <laughs> At least the one that you dance. <laughs> um, we go for this one. I want to ask something else. Yeah, but uh, if you went to a restaurant. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so imagine you're at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, you go for dinner, right? And you can invite three people over. So you're sitting ah. for it. That's okay, that one. No, I know because it's just like with three points. Yeah, so it's, uh, if you were at the restaurant. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> okay, imagine you can go, I mean, you're going to a restaurant and you're sitting at a table of four and you can bring three people and they're from any time, so uh, even, even the past. Uh, years ago. All yeah, right. And from anywhere in the world, so geographically and. Uh, yeah. Three persons. Each. Yeah. Nikola Tesla, for sure. Okay. Yeah, he's one of. Uh, Why? I think he understood everything better than us. Okay. With the, we we are a mix of physical and uh, spiritual. You know? Okay. So we work. We are energy as well, and he understood a lot about that. Okay. So I would like just to ask so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair uh -huh. enough. Him. Mm, who else? Perhaps someone from music, right, Charles? Okay. Yeah. Not Laura Pausini. <laughs> I thought about it. Uh, <laughs> Laura Pausini, uh, it's, it's table for three uh -huh. persons, you uh, know. Okay. So perhaps if you ask table for two, uh, uh, <laughs> Laura okay, Pausini, okay. what's up? <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, Ray Charles, Nikola Tesla, and uh, who else? I don't know, man. Perhaps my mom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Does your mom speak English? A little. Okay. A little. But don't yeah, I to communicate I with the Ray Charles and... Yeah, I can do the translation. Okay, yeah. <laughs> But wait, Tesla was from where? Is that Ni Nikola was Tesla. He was um, American, no? No, he was right. living in the state, but he's Bulgarian. Ah, okay. I yeah, didn't yeah. know. I think he was living in New York. Okay. Yeah. I see, I see. Good guy. Yeah. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, so, thank you for the invitation. No, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It was really yeah, fun. Yeah, it was really good. It was yeah, really, yeah. really good. Uh, so, uh, guys, if you want to know more about uh, Leonardo, go follow him on Instagram. Yeah. You yeah. can find you on Instagram. Leonardo yeah. underscore Maybe we black. can put the, the link in the, in the, the video. description. It'll be like here, maybe here. And then who's doing the post-production? Yeah, okay. We will tell the guy to put the link here because in, in we, the, don't, we don't know how to do it. Or in the description. <laughs> yeah, or in the description, yeah. <laughs> And so they can find you on Instagram, Instagram, Instagram at Facebook, Leonardo, uh, Leonardo, yeah, Leonardo black. underscore black. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And just in that you just opened a TikTok channel also. Yeah. 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 Um, as well, Leonardo Black. Okay. Okay. Guys, if you want to follow me, it's really good. How, how so. do you cope with TikTok? It's like. Um, well, sometimes I dance. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no dancing. It's mostly about the, yeah, my artwork. Okay. Uh huh. And how how I combine it with music mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah. Pretty much what I'm doing with. We also have to learn that. So, yes. Yeah. yeah, whatever. It's part of the business. So, to dance. <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. Salsa. Ah, salsa. <laughs> An example is like my thing that I really like to do it, mm -hmm. but I'm terrible in dancing. But uh, you know, <laughs> we can tell. Dance like. <coughs> I can dance. Huh? <laughs> but, uh, not not something that I do often. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Girls in general like, can you dance? Yeah, I can. No, you cannot. Yes. And they see like, oh you can dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told you <laughs> that I'm doing it, that I'm not doing it doesn't mean that I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Then thank you again. Thank it was a again. real pleasure. Thank you guys. Yes. And uh, um, yeah. If you wanna get into tattoo. You can contact guys. Leonardo or come to the shop and get a tattoo first. <laughs> contact my manager. It's easy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> thank you, Leonardo. Okay. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you.